Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 9, Chapter 19, Text number 29, 999. Chapter, Canto 9, Chapter 19, and Text number 29. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namas Tubyam Bhagavati Vasudevaya Vedasi Sarva Bhuta Divashaya Santaya Brihate Namaha Namas Tubyam Bhagavati Vasudevaya Vedasi Sarva Bhukta Divasaya Shantaya Brihate Nama Namastubhyam Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vedasi Sarva Bhukta Divasaya Shantaya Brihate Nama Namastubhyam Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vedasi Sarva Bhuta Divashaya Shantaya Brihate Nama Shantaya Any ladies? Namaha. I offer my respectful obeisances to Byam unto you, Bhagavate, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Basudevaya, Lord Basudev. Vedase, the Creator of everything. Sarva Bhuta Divashaya Present everywhere within the heart of every living entity and within the atom also. Shantaya Peaceful as if completely inactive. Brihate The greatest of all. Namaha I offer my respectful obeisances. Translation 
O Lord Vasudev, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, you are the creator of the entire cosmic manifestation. Hmm? You live as a super soul in everyone's heart, and it's smaller than the smallest, yet you are greater than the greatest and are all pervading. You appear completely silent, having nothing to do, but this is due to your all pervading nature and your fullness in all opulences. I therefore offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Hmm? Translation, please repeat. O Lord Basudev. O Supreme Personality of Godhead. You are the creator of the entire cosmic manifestation. You live as the super soul in everyone's heart and are smaller than the smallest. Yet you are greater than the greatest and are all pervading. You appear completely silent, having nothing to do. But this is due to your all-pervading nature and your fullness in all opulences. I therefore offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. How Devayani became self-realized by the grace of her husband, Maharaj Yayati, is described here. Describing such realization is another way of performing the bhakti process. Sravanam kirtanam Vishnu smaranam padasevanam archanam bandhanam dasyam sakyam atmani vedanam Hearing and chanting about the transcendental holy name, form, qualities, paraphernalia and pastimes of Lord Vishnu. Remembering them, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, offering the Lord respectful worship, offering prayers to the Lord, becoming his servant, considering the Lord one's best friend, and surrendering everything unto him. These nine processes are accepted as pure devotional service. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 7, Chapter 5, Verse 23. Sravanam Kirtanam, hearing and chanting, are especially important. By hearing from her husband about the greatness of Lord Bahasudev, Devayani certainly became convinced and surrendered, under, surrendered herself unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. This is knowledge. Mahunam Janmanam Ante Gyanavam Maam Prapadyante. Surrender to Vasudev is a result of hearing about him for many, many births. As soon as one surrenders unto Vasudev, one is liberated immediately. Because of her association with her great husband, Maharaj Yati, Devyani became purified, adopted the means of Bhakti Jog, and thus became liberated. Thus in the Bhaktivedanta purports of the ninth canto, 19 chapter, Srimad Bhagavatam, entitled King Yati, achieves liberation. Hmm. Namastubhyam Bhagavat Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vedasi Sarvabhuta Divasaya Shantaya Brihate Nama O Lord Vasudev, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, You are the creator of the entire cosmic manifestation. Hmm. You live as the super soul in everyone's heart and are smaller than the smallest Yet you are greater than the greatest and are all pervading. You appear completely silent, having nothing to do, but this is due to your all pervading nature and your fullness in all opulences. I therefore offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Manu Bistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Didati Svapadandigam Adadanastranandantai Ridham Yache Puna Puna Sri Marupa Padam Bhujo Dulisyam Janma Janmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda 
Sriadvaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Pancha Kalpa Trubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vevacha Patitanam Bhavani Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Nama I was born in the darkest of ignorance with my eyes closed shut, but my spiritual masters opened my eyes with the torch light of transcendental knowledge. Therefore, I offer my humble obeisances at his lotus feet. So here we have very wonderful prayer. Hmm? Namastu byam bhagavate vasudevaya vedasi sarvabhuta divasaya Shantaya brihate nama. Sometimes I wonder what it will be like if we actually come face to face with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, we should offer some prayers. But most likely we'll be too shocked, just like Dhruva Maharaj. As soon as he opened his eyes, he couldn't see the Lord within his heart. Then he opened his eyes, saw the Lord there. So he was just five years old, he didn't know what to pray. Uh, even when we're seven years old, we still have no idea what to pray if we actually saw the Lord directly face to face. Uh, so the Lord put his conch shell on his head, then he offered so many beautiful prayers by mercy of the Lord. So this is a very beautiful prayer. Huh? Namastu Vyam Bhagavate. Oh, you are the su Bhagavate means the Supreme Personality of God. Basudevaya, you're all pervading. Huh? Vedasi, you're the creator of everything. Hmm? Sar Sarva Bhuta Divasa, you live in everyone's heart as a uh, super soul. And Prabhupada extends a very long translation of this simple word. Well, she's not so simple, pretty long word. Uh, he says, You are the super soul in everyone's heart and are smaller than the smallest. We can also take it as that. Uh, yet, you are greater than the greatest. So this is, by our tiny brain, not uh, comprehensible. If something's very small that is smaller than the atom, then how can it be greater than something that's greater than the greatest? Uh, but this means God. God means He's beyond our uh, tiny mental powers to understand. Hmm? There's another name of the Lord, Ahokshita, beyond our uh, reasoning power, beyond our senses. Hmm. But God is where all these contradictions can, can possibly meet. He's greater than the greatest and He's smaller than the smallest. Uh, and all pervading. Hmm. Shantaya, you appear to be uh, very, uh, we know Shanti, very peaceful. Uh, here it is translated as unmoving. Especially the materialists are unable to see the Lord behind this whole gigantic cosmic manifestation. He appears silent. But everything is going on by His will. Uh, but it, we don't perceive His hand except the devotees perceive His hand. The materialists, they think it is all going on by chance. Uh, by chance, uh, uh, everything has come into existence. Uh, the Prabhupada said, this is due to your all-pervading nature. He's pervading everything. So whatever is going on, is going on by the will of the Lord. Therefore, although we're very, uh, in a very difficult time, we should understand that it is under Krishna's control. And Krishna has got his plan. So we should just surrender to that plan. Uh, just uh, accept that we're stuck here. We can't go anywhere. And just try to use the opportunity to study more about Krishna, to hear more about Krishna. Because this is actually the first point that Prabhupada makes. Deva, Deva Yani became self-reliant by the grace of her great husband Yati by hearing from him. And then Prabhupada quotes, this is just like a few couple of weeks ago we were celebrating the uh, appearance day of Lord Narasimhadev. Hmm? And we know that this verse comes in that's the seventh canto. 
So this verse comes there that Hiranyakashipu, he asked Prahlad, what is the best thing you've learned from your teachers? And Prahlad said, I haven't learned anything nice from my teacher. <laughs> but I have learned Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam das Bandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam huh? The Shravana means hearing. Actually, hearing is the most important. Because hmm? we were st studying the other day on uh, appearance, was it appearance or disappearance of Madhavindapuri? Yeah. Appearance day of Madhavindapuri. Uh, no, Rama, we were, t we were talking about Ramananda Roy. Excuse huh? Disappearance of Ramananda Roy. So in that whole discussion, he kept presenting different ways to understand the truth. And when he finally said, Jnani prayasam mudapasya namandeva jivandi sanmukaritam bhavadi vartam tani tidasrutikatam tanuvan manobir ye prayaso jito jito pasitaistri lokyam. He said, one gives up jnani uh, prayasam. He gives up the process of jnana and karma. Hmm? And what does he do? Uh, San Mukaritam. He hears from uh, the mouth of the devotee. Hmm? And he remains in his position, whatever position, Varna, Ashram, whatever it is. Uh, just like we have that nice song, Griye Tako Vani Tako Sari Hari Boli Tako. Whatever you're doing, uh, just chant the holy name. Or here, even more important, the first you hear, because in order to know that we should chant the holy name, first we have to hear. So, Shruti Ketam, you go on, whatever, Tane Sita, you stay in your position, whatever you are, whatever job you're doing, you don't have to give up your job, go to the Himalayas, sit in the middle of the water, and freezing water in this winter time, and the blazing fire in the summer, no, just wherever you are, whatever you're doing, Shruti Ketam, you go on hearing. Uh, so, this is the most important. And then Prabhupada said, one who's heard, the next becomes kirtanam. Kirtanam means to chant. So once we've heard, because we've been uh, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam throughout um, now most of our life. So we're always anxious to speak about the Srimad Bhagavatam. After we've heard, then we want to speak about Srimad. Hmm? We know who was it who got... Uh, reach perfection just by hearing. That was Prikit Maharaj. Hmm? And Kirtanam, by speaking, that was uh, Sukadev Goswami. Hmm? Sravanam Kirtanam Vishnu. Here, very specifically, he says about Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna. The Mayavadis, they say you can hear about anyone or anything. Yatapat, tatamat, yatamat, yatapat, yatamat, tatapat. <laughs> it's one of those tongue twisters. Uh, but Sri Bhagavatam very clearly declares Sravanam Kirtanam Vishnu. We should hear and chant about Vishnu or Krishna. Hmm. Sravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smarnam. So once we've heard, then we can remember uh, the Lord. And it was our dear Prahlad Maharaj who uh, he achieved perfection simply by remembering the Lord. He was put in so many difficult circumstances. We're thinking, because we're in lockdown, because of this coronavirus, we're in a very difficult situation. But Prahlad Maharaj was thrown into a pit of uh, snakes. I know people, as soon as they, of course I like snakes, but I know most people, as soon as they see a snake, ah! Uh, so we can't imagine being thrown into a pit of uh, venomous snakes. Uh, but he was just remembering his uh, Lord. Uh, Smarnam. He was thrown into a off the cliff, he was just remembering the Lord. He was put in, the demons tried to attack him with their weapons. He just remembered the Lord. He achieved perfection. Smarnam. Padasevanam. Serving the lotus feet. So Lakshmiji, she's always there at the lotus feet of the Lord. Uh, always, whenever we see the picture of uh, Lord Vishnu lying on Ananta Shesh, Lakshmiji is always there massaging his feet. Uh, and we get big chance for this, those who go on the Brajmanda Prakamud Lokanath Swami, 
Some of them get the service padasevan and with the devotees. Because always we're stepping on thorn and stone and stubbing our toe. So there's a whole crew of devotees who do padasevan. Uh, and of course we know serving the Vaishnava is even more uh, powerful than serving the Lord himself. The Lord is told by his own mouth uh, that of all types of worships, Radhananam Sarveshu Vishnu Radhanam Param. But even more powerful than that, he says, worshipping the uh, devotees of the Lord, serving the devotees of the Lord. So Padasevanam is there. Uh, Archanam, uh, just like Krishna Balaram Mandir is famous for its Archana, worship of the deities. Uh, who is it to achieve perfection by Archanam? Prithu Maharaj, all right, Prithu Maharaj, I almost forgot. Prithu Maharaj. Just like we see when I first came to Vrindavan. Jai Sisi Gornitai Sisi Krishna was seeking of opulent deity worship. Now we're getting darshan. Gornitai Sisi Krishna Balaram Sisi Radha Sham Sundar Lilita Pisaka. So we would go to other temples and we'd see. Uh, Didi room was filled with cobwebs. The cloth on the deities looked like if you went like that, it would fall apart. Uh, there was no garland, uh, or maybe just a little flower at the base of the the deities. Mm -hmm. But since Prabhupada established his Krishna Balarama, if you see whole Vrindavan, the standard came up. Uh, now every temple is so opulent, deity worship. So beautiful garlands. Mm. Even I've heard that from our Tulsi garden, garlands are going to other temples, Gosami temples, uh, just so they can have nice opulent deity worship with Krishna loves Tulsi like anything. So here we have these, just like there on the Chot, I can see here Chota Gornitai, a beautiful garland of Tulsi. So until this lockdown was here, we were supplying, I think even we were supplying garlands to some of the temples, is it? Where's the, where's Govinda? We were supplying garlands to temples also? Yeah, also Radha Damodar and? A Jagannath Mandir. Uh, Radharaman. So the whole process of archanam has uh, gone up like anything since Prabhupada established this beautiful Krishna Balaram Mandir here. Archanam Bandanam offering prayers. So I believe it was Akura when he saw the. He came to take Krishna back to. Or not back to Tumatura. And when he got to Nandagam, he saw Krishna's lotus footprints on the ground. He got down and began offering prayers. It's like this very beautiful prayer. We should learn these things. One day we'll actually see Krishna face to face. So we'll have, some, have to have something to say. <laughs> these are all beautiful prayers. Mandanam. So Akura, he, by simply offering prayers to the lotus feet of the Lord. Hmm. Dasyam. Becoming the servant of the Lord. Just like... Who attained perfection was Hanuman, huh? He's the most famous servant of the Lord. In fact, you'll see in the Kumamela that all the sadhus, all their flags, always Hanuman is there. He's the patron of all the sadhus. Because uh, he was, throughout his life, Naistika Brahmachari, and he was completely dedicated, 100, every, 120%, every atom of his body was dedicated for the service of Lord Ram. Dasyam. Sakyam, making friend, becoming friend of the Lord. This is very elevated, but this is Arjun. Uh, achieve perfection by being a friend of the Lord. Uh, Atma Nivedan, surrendering everything to the Lord. That was our dear Ambrish Maharaj. Hmm. And part of Ambrish Maharaj's uh, seva was done here in Madhuvan, not just, just down the highway here. In Madhuvan, he did his Akadasi Vrat. 
Huh? Where at the end of Rasri she came, that was done here in Braj. Otherwise I've heard his capital was Hoshanga, what's now known as Hoshangabad in Mani Pradesh was Ambrish Maharaj's capital, but he came here to Braj to Madhuvan and performed his Akadasi Brat for one year. Atmani Vedana, surrendering everything to the Lord. So all of these processes are capable to uh, take us to perfection. But Chaitanya Charitamrita has a very verse, very interesting verse. Nava Bida Bhakti Purna Nama Hoite Haya. Nava Bida Bhakti Purna Nama Hoite Haya. The interview performs, especially in Kali Yuga, you may perform all these different types of these nine processes, but they will only be complete with Nama Hoite Haya, with Nam Sankirtan. Hmm? This Kirtan also, this is talking about Sri Bhagavatam, this is also Kirtan. But here it specifically mentions Nava Bida Bhakti Purna Nama Hoite. You add chanting of the holy name, uh, then all these nine processes of bhakti become perfect, especially in this Kali Juga. Hmm? Therefore, we see whatever we do, we always do Nam Sankirtan. Huh? Just like we got big shock when we came to India from foreign countries. Because for us, uh, Artik means Kirtan. Huh? Uh, Mangal Arti means Sansara Dava Nalalida Loka. Here we do Udilo Aruna Purava Bhagi. Then we do Govinda Adi Purusham. Then uh, Raj Bogarti Yaso Mati Nandana Brajubara Nagar. Then Evening Arti means Kiva Jayo Jaya Gora Chande. So always Arti meant Kirtan to us. We would sing these nice prayers and then we do Namstan Kirtan. And we came to India, we went into an Indian temple, and Artik started, and bam, 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 bam. We got big shock. <laughs> because for us, Artik means kirtan. So even we do Artik, Archan, and we do kirtan. Uh, we're always doing Namsa and kirtan. We're lucky here in Vrindavan, 24 hours, kir Namsa and kirtan is going on. Uh, even for marriage ceremony, we do kirtan. Hmm? gone marriage ceremonies are very simple. Otherwise, in India, they take days and days. That's why we see Indian marriages, they last. They say, once you've been through that, I'm not going through again. <laughs> but this gone is just Swaha, <laughs> Haribol, and Mahaprasadi Gopinde. <laughs> huh? So for everything we add, every single part of our life, we add Nam Sankirtan. We do any festival, there's Nam Sankirtan. So Nava Vida Bhakti Purna Nama Hoiti Hai. So this, especially Nam Sankirtan, is even more powerful than just this ordinary kirtan that is mentioned here. So Nava Vida Bhakti Purna Nama Hoiti. We have to add this Nam Sankirtan with all of our activities. Hmm? And what will be the result of these things? Uh, one surrenders unto Basude. Hmm? Huh? Basude Vai. One surrenders unto Basude. What does Prabhupada say? By hearing from her husband of the greatness of Basude, Devayani certainly became convinced and surrendered herself unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Om Namo Bhagavati Basude Vai. This is knowledge. And then he quotes our favorite verse from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Bahunam janmanam anti jnanavam ma prapadyante basude sarvmiti sa mahatma sudralabha. Bahunam. Bahunam means many. Janmanam. We know janmastami. Janmanam means birth. Bahunam janmanam ante. After many births and deaths. Uh, after many, many births, then one is Gyanavan, one who's actually wise, then he basud, uh, Bahunam Janmananti Gyanam, uh, Maam Prapadjante, he surrenders unto me. Why? Basudev Sarvami. Oh, Lord Basudev, he's everything. Hmm? Uh, he's my everything. He's my life of my life. 
Huh? This is only achieved after many, many lifetimes, so we can just understand the wonderful potency in Srila Prabhupada's books. Hmm? That uh, just by studying Srila Prabhupada's one tiny lifetime, one piece of a tiny, with most of our lifetime we spent in the grossest type of sense gratification, but one tiny piece of our lifetime we've understood the purpose of life. Something that takes many, many lifetimes. Prabhupada, books are so powerful, he's achieving this. Huh? Just like Krishna told in Bhagavad Gita, uh, what is that? Manushyanam sahasri, taught many thousands among men. Huh? One may endeavor for perfection. It's like we see hardly anybody's interested. We go on book distribution, everybody's saying, no, no, no. Get out of here, get a job. Huh? Then suddenly we meet someone, oh, Bhagavad Gita, I've been there. I heard about this book. Please give me, you got a copy of it? I'll take it. Huh? One very rare soul is interested. Huh? And Krishna said, even of those, very rarely one knows me in truth. So this is the power of Prabhupada's book, Samahatma Sudurlava. Dur love, love means to achieve and dur means far. It's very far away from, very difficult to achieve. Matlab. Huh? Very difficult to achieve. Very difficult to find out such a soul. But Prabhupada, by his great potency and by his wonderful books, he's creating so many such Mahatmas who understand the purpose of life. Huh? Reading Prabhupada's books, you s skip over so many lifetimes. You immediately come to the point that uh, every Practically every paragraph Prabhupada says, you must surrender to Krishna, you must surrender to Krishna. Why are you wasting your life in this sense gratification? This human form of life is meant. Now you can get out of this whole cycle of birth and death. Why are you wasted in sense gratification? Huh? So we're learning all these things from, from Srila Prabhupada's books. So therefore it says, because the association of a great husband, because she would... He was ta hearing and talking about Krishna. Uh, therefore, though, even though uh, she was a simple woman, immediately she understood the purpose of life by hearing from her husband. So the same way for us, we're not, actually we're not very simple, we're very complicated and very degraded. But somehow or other, by hearing from Srila Prabhupada's books, from hearing from the mouths of the devotees, Gradually we're becoming purified so that we can understand what is the purpose of life. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is, thus we become liberated. Devyani became purified, adopted the means of bhakti jog and became liberated. So this is our position that we want to take up this we're dedicated to this process of bhakti, love and devotion. Because after all, just how much Lord will be satisfied by your yogic gymnastics? Just imagine you come to somebody's house huh? or somebody comes to visit you and he sits down on the couch, he doesn't look at you, he doesn't talk to you, he just it completely ignores you, just sitting there like this. Uh, uh, you'll not be very impressed. But if somebody comes, he brings you nice food to eat, he sings your glories, he offers you nice songs, uh, then you'll be very attracted. Hmm? So this is most most attractive way. Uh, this yoga probably explains, just like in the school, the child is misbehaving. So in old days, I don't think they do it, I don't know what they do nowadays. But in old days, even before I was a student, they would put the student in the corner with a, with a funny looking cap on his head called dunce cap. Huh? And the teacher would say, don't speak, don't move, don't say anything, don't do anything. So this we do to the misbehaved child. You're telling go to the corner and just stop everything. Hmm? But if some child in the class is doing very nicely and learning the lessons very nicely, 
Then sometimes the teacher says, all right, today you be the monitor, you come and you give the class. Huh? So this yoga, that's just for stopping all your sinful activities. You sit down, twist it up like a pretzel, and you, at least you've stopped all your sinful activities. But nothing positive is there. Huh? It's like this Buddhism is the void. All right, at least you stopped everything, you made everything void. Huh? So you've stopped everything, that's okay. But Prabhupada said, Krishna consciousness is the positive joy of spiritual life. It's the positive joy of spiritual life. It's like we were telling the other day, we don't say you stop hearing. No, but you stop hearing about coronavirus. You start hearing about Krishna. And you hear Krishna's holy name. Huh? And you hear the beautiful songs of the devotees about the Lord. We hear the beautiful philosophy of the Lord. Huh? The naturally the ear wants to hear something. Uh, all day long people listening to this cinema songs. Uh, but you stop that cinema song, you hear about Krishna. Hear beautiful songs about Krishna. Uh, this is bhakti. People want to see something beautiful. This is natural. The eyes always, as soon as some beautiful flower is there, immediately the eye goes, oh, just see this beautiful flower. But you come and see the beautiful, the beautiful form of the Lord decorated with beautiful flowers. You see the flower in relation to the Lord. That is bhakti. We don't say, stop seeing, close your eyes. Huh? You open your eyes and see the beautiful form of the Lord, very wonderfully decorated. We're always amazed how wonderfully the pujaris, we bow down at their feet, how wonderfully they decorate the Lord. We bow down at the ladies who are making the garlands, always astonishing garlands are there. So we want to see something beautiful, we see in connection with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Bhakti means to link. So we link all of our senses. We, want, we don't say don't see, but you see the form of the Lord. We don't say don't speak. We say you speak about the Lord. You sing the Lord's name. All positive. This is positive. This bhakti yoga is positive. Huh? This other process is negative. This is the positive joy of spiritual life. Brother. We don't say you stop uh, dancing, but you stop this disco dancing, break dancing. You do this Swami step. <laughs> you dance in front of the deities in ecstasy. Huh? And we don't say you stop eating, you stop tasting, because huh? the tongue is always busy all day long thinking what to eat, what to eat. Everywhere we go, push carts are there. Uh, we go to the Bandarman Mela, and they call it a Mela, but nothing. We think, Mela, we think some spiritual thing is going on. But we went there and we saw just all the churi wala are there, the alu tiki wala is there, ting, 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 jalebi wala is there, and nothing spiritual going on. So therefore, whenever Somavati Yamavasya comes in Bandirvan, we made vow that we will go there to have Harinam and distribute Angali Jalani Wali Garam Halava. Burn your finger hot Halava Prasadam. Uh, so every time there's this so-called Mela in, in Bandirvan, we go there and we have nice Harinam for all the villagers and distribute burn your finger hot Halava Prasadam to all the villagers. Uh, so we don't say... Uh, Stop eating, you eat nice, you give up eating this warmed over piece of dead body. Huh? You offer nice rasgula, sandesh, gulab jamun, paneer sabji, puri, samosa, kachuri, pakora, huh? raita, dal. But first you offer it to the Lord. And then we don't eat prasadam, we honor prasadam. See anamita pao. Because actually, we don't see anamita kao. See anamita pao, we honor prasadam. Hmm. So then the tongue naturally wants to eat something, but we should, just by eating. Just like we have seen, we made so many devotees just by prasadam. There was one devotee, later he even became a sannyasi, but he used to come to the Sunday feast. Huh? A devotee would sit down to preach to me, I don't want to hear your philosophy, I don't like your philosophy, I'm atheist. But give me some of that halibut. Give me some more sweet rice. <laughs> don't talk, don't talk that nonsense philosophy to me. <laughs> Later he became a sannyasi. <laughs> uh, so, 
this prasadam is so powerful. We had even practical experience. One time I was temple president of Portland, Oregon in the northwestern corner of America. And one devotee came to help out the temple. He was a householder devotee, so he was living with his wife's grandmother while they were looking for a place to stay. And his wife's, grand, his wife's grandmother, she wasn't a particularly religious person. She wasn't atheist, but she, she never went to church or anything, but she did, you know, wasn't a particularly religious person. But anyway, in her, one part of her house, they made a little altar, and they would cook, and they would offer everything on their little altar to Krishna. And they'd always make sure that Granny got some Mahaprasadam. So one day they came home, and Granny was on the phone talking to one of her old lady friends, and she was saying, and you know, Mabel, food even tastes better when it's offered to Krishna. <laughs> Food even tastes better with it. She's just ordinary karmi lady. Yeah? I don't know if they use that word anymore. When I was a young devotee, those who are not devotee, they're karmis. So she was just an old, ordinary karmi lady. But she could taste a difference. Somehow or other, this food being offered to Krishna, it tastes different. Uh, she became so purified. She, even she was tasting, it was different. Uh, In this way, all the senses, we engage them in the service of the Lord. We don't deny anything. Even, uh, we don't say you, you, we recommend you remain brahmachari, but we don't say you have to remain brahmachari. You become married and you have children. Uh, but, not, but children who will know how to bow down before say any person, Prabhupada said. Hmm? Don't create cats and dogs. Hmm? Train them how to understand. It's like we see all the children, they, uh, every day somebody posting some, something on Facebook, a little kid doing kirtan or offering arti. As you train them from the very beginning of their life in devotional life, uh, in Krishna conscious life. So we don't say you don't get married, we say you get married. You don't say don't have children. Uh, you have children, but make them, make sure that this is their last lifetime in this world. So in this way, all, every sense is not stopped, but every sense is engaged, but in the service of the Lord. So this is the beauty of Bhakti Yoga. And here is described the whole nine process of engaging all the senses of the Lord. And if we follow this process in the association of devotees and study carefully Prabhupada's books, uh, then one day we'll meet the Lord face to face, and then maybe we'll remember this prayer Namastubhyam Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vedase Sarva Bhuta Divashaya Shandaya Brihate Nama. So we should learn these prayers so that when we do meet the Lord face to face, we'll have something to say. I'm afraid I'll just be speechless. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So anybody has any questions? We'll stop here. Start a new chapter tomorrow. What is that? The dynasty of Puru, oh, this is a famous one. Oh, Jigyasu. the last part? We have to do our job and do other things. Yes. Therefore, Isopanasha says, uh, Vidyam cha, Abidyam cha. That we have to follow, our train runs on two rails. If one rail is there, finished. So our train runs on two rails. One, one Rail is missing, the train will uh, crash. So it says vidya, we have to follow the path of vidya, knowledge, and avidya, uh, ignorance. We have to learn some uh, trade or some talent 
that we can use in, in performing some sort of job to maintain our family. Um, but simultaneously we have to keep our spiritual life. We have to, it's a, we have to learn how to balance. These Upanishad says, Vidyam cha, avidyam cha. That you learn this process of vidya and avidya side by side. And if we do our job or we run our business and we give donation, uh, just like all of out there in, in uh, online, for two months we're not having any collection, you go to iskanvrindavan.com and make a donation. <laughs> iskanvrindavan.com make a donation because two months nobody's coming here, there's no donations coming. Still somehow or other Krishna Balaram service going on, so you please help us. Uh, so in this way, even your business and your job becomes yoga. Because the fruit, the whole Bhagavad Gita Krishna is telling, you offer the fruit to me. Uh, so you do your job, but you offer some fruit to Krishna. Then it becomes yoga also. Yes. My mind may be anything, but still the process will work. Just like child, he may not know that fire burns. But that doesn't mean if I, oh, he doesn't know, I won't burn him. You put his, a child puts it, he gets burned. Huh? So it's like that. They may not know, their mind may be wandering here and there. They're taking prasadam. Eventually, they'll get burned by Krishna consciousness. Eventually, it will have its effect. I'm the perfect example. I, I came. I came on Jamastami Day, and they made such a. We had the, those days. We had the regular feast at midnight. We didn't know you're supposed to have the Kadasi breakfast at midnight and have full feast the next day. So they had full, you know, puri, paneer sabji, sandesh, sweet rice, gulab jamuns. Hmm? And I had heard their regular principles, which was completely opposite of my life. Except I was a vegetarian by that time. But I thought anyway. They keep feeding me like this, and I'll, and I'll forget about all these four rules, rules and regulations altogether. <laughs> so I'm still here, but only because of Prasad. <laughs> I said, you keep feeding me like this, I'll forget that drugs and sex life, all these things exist. <laughs> So if there's no other question, then we'll fall down to the very soft and wonderful lotus feet of that great personality who's linked the holy name to all our Navavidya Bhakti. Srila Prabhupada Ki.